All right, fun day ahead. Did you guys know the Arkells? Yep, you know them. So today I'm meeting up with Max Kerman, who's the lead vocalist and guitarist, and um, we're gonna have a little jam session. We got gas in the tank to go all night. We got gas in the tank to go all night. All right, we're getting the camera set up. They're on the way. We've already had two people stop and ask if we're having a concert. It's time to get to work now, let's get going. Do you have a cottage? I don't have a cottage. We've, uh, we've been lucky though to have some friends with cottages. Hey, that's all you need. That's really, that's sort of the sweet spot, at least for me, as somebody who's not particularly handy. Yeah. If you're able to have a friend that does all the brunt work and then you get the invitation up there, that's pretty good. I want to show you this. Yeah. I, uh, so it was smashed. It had a big hole in the back um, that I had to fiberglass. The headstock was broken that so I you rebuilt. you are handy. The bridge was popped off, so I rebuilt the whole guitar. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, see, the second anything breaks on this thing, I just hand it off to our guitar tech and I'm like, <laughs> deal with it. Is it in tune? I don't know. You want to check for yeah, me? Okay. Let's see if it actually works properly. Do you play? A little bit. A little bit. Yeah. Hey, not bad. Yeah. It works. It works. Good job. <laughs> Who knew you were a guitar uh, tech? I thought, you know what? I love doing this kind of stuff, so I uh, I put it back together. There you go. Yeah. It didn't cost you much, I imagine. It didn't cost me anything, just, yeah. just your hard work. So you want to teach me too? Ooh, okay, cool. Let's see if we're in the if we're in tune together. Sure. Play a G chord. There you go. Great. Okay. So the trick with um, campfire songs yeah. is that you know t people will typically look up the chords on the internet and they'll go, okay, that's the way I have to play it. You can uh, adjust the key of the song, which suits the range of your voice, uh, like with a capo. Okay. So, and a capo basically allows you to play, let's say the chord pattern is G, C, D. If, if you're singing along to a song, like na, 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 if that were to feel too high, or because your voice was like in a lower register, mm -hmm. you can put a capo on here, say up here, and if that feels better to sing, that's the right answer for you. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, for anybody watching out there, don't feel beholden to uh, the chords you see on the internet. So, you know, follow those chord shapes, but use a capo accordingly. Uh, oh, you got one. Okay, but Just now, in case. So uh, let's do a G chord. So we're doing a G. Yeah. yeah. So don't worry too much about, I think, I find people sometimes think too much about uh, this drumming pattern. Uh, and they don't have to think that hard. Um, and then C. Uh, back to G. Um, so it's like, uh, it's going back to G. About the time I can't get you off of my seat. C, E minor. Do you know E minor? <laughs> yeah. D. You got it, man. C. That's three chords of the chorus. G. And in her. C. Up to out. Back to G. C. Couldn't stop if G. To the D. That's it. I'll never learn So I call you when I'm out Back to G And I'm there And then So I thought I'm maybe quitting And then E minor D G But there's no quitting G That's it that's the whole Sweet, song. That's awesome. And so, and and you know, you're a newer guitarist, but you caught on to that really very quickly, fast, yeah. very fast. Well, I had a professional teaching. Me well, that. no, no, <laughs> you had it. So, so, some, sometimes it takes a minute to get the rhythm and strumming going, but um, it's it's most fun if you can really nail, not really nail, but if you can know like eighty five percent of like five songs. If everybody who's going to the cottage can try to like get 
you know, a handful of songs under their belt so yeah. when they're around the campfire they can offer something. I think that's a, go a good goal to aspire to. So for instance, for me, um, Mi uh, Mr. Jones by Count of Crows. Yeah. You know that song? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, how's that? I was down at the New West Dam. Strikes up a conversation with the black hair, the lingo dance. You know, she dances while her father plays guitar. She's suddenly beautiful, and we all want something beautiful. Anyway, so if you know, if you know like a bunch of those kind of songs with easy first position chords, you can you can get somewhere. Wonderwall. That's where Wonder I Wonderwall. That's another I one. I start with Wonderwall. How's that one go? Today um, was gonna be the day that they're gonna be. I play with a capo one too when I play it. But I just do a. Uh... Today was going to be the day that they're going to bring it back to you. Just about knowing a couple songs like that's said. it and yeah. you know like we come from a real rich tradition of uh i think music that lends itself well to this environment whether yeah. that's neil young or the band or the tragically hip or blue rodeo or our kells sort of the canon of great canadian music <laughs> it is and um yeah and so you know we've learned from a lot of those great you know Canadian songwriters about you know how to piece together just like a beautiful you know three or four chord song it's awesome yeah thank you so much for coming out my pleasure check out the Arkell's new campfire chords Max and in her see